Okay guys, so we're back again today and we're doing project number seven. This is kind of different from the rest of my projects, but I wanted to do something kind of different for Christmas. So I hope you enjoy it. I made two pillow covers using a 19 by 19 inch piece of fabric. And for the back, I used two pieces that were 19 by 14. And all I did was just finish the edges for the two back pieces and just sewed along the inside edge. And then I just placed my fabric right side up and right sides together, placing each of the back pieces overlapping one another. And then I just pinned it all together and sewed all the way around the pillow. And that was a simple way to make an envelope pillow cover. If you don't want to make your own pillow covers, I think Amazon has them for around five bucks. I know Hobby Lobby does and probably places like Ikea as well. This is the design that I'm using on this pillowcase. So I've already uploaded it into Cricut Design Space and I actually created it in Inkscape. So if you want a free copy of this PNG, I'll leave it on my website for you guys and I'll link that um, where you can find that down below. But I just uploaded it into Cricut Design Space and I'm going to cut it out using the Aura Mask that I used on the last video and I'm going to create a stencil. And here is the stencil that I just cut on the Cricut. And one thing I really like about this Aura Mask, um, if I get it to focus, you'll see the detail that it cuts on these little teensy tiny Christmas trees. And I really like that because the material is sturdy enough to handle all those little fine details. When you're removing the backing from the Aura Mask, um, you'll just need to watch the little fine details. It's not as sticky as adhesive vinyl, which is kind of a good thing. You don't want it pulling up your wood or whatever material you're placing it on. But I just had to kind of check and make sure that I was getting all the fine details left on my transfer tape when I was pulling off the back. And then I'm just using the backing to place between the layers of my fabric to make sure that none of the paint transfers to the back. I taped some paper around my design because I'm going to be using this Krylon spray paint. I like it because I used it on a rug I did in a previous video and I've washed it several, several times and the paint has really stayed. So if I need to wash this pillowcase, I know that this paint will not come off, but you can definitely use fabric paint and stencil this on here using a stencil brush or a foam brush. Um, I have done that before on many, many projects and it's turned out great. But for today, I wanted to do this very quickly, so I just kind of spray painted this on here. And I'm going to let it dry for several minutes, probably 20 minutes, before I remove the stencil. So for the second project, I just created this decal using adhesive vinyl and I cut it out the same way I did the stencil and I just placed it on this galvanized Christmas tree skirt. I think you can actually get galvanized buckets at Walmart for around $10. I thought that would be a neat idea to do that. So I just printed it out on Cricut using some white adhesive vinyl and I placed it on my tree skirt. But this is just one idea you can use this decal on. You can use it on a mailbox or on a clear picture frame or actually to make a sign. Or you can just print it out on your computer and place it in a frame. But I love this design that the Farm Fresh Christmas trees. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back next week with some more videos. So look for those and I'll see you guys later.